Hello, hello, and we are back with Rebuild 3 again. Uh, it's been a little bit since we've played. When we left off, we were here in Nelson, and had- it got us a real cluster of colors if you can't tell what, if you're not, like, used to the way the game map looks. So, we've got a nice large spread of farms here along the coast and pushed against the forest, working on getting the, uh, water working again. Which, hold on, let me just make sure the music's not too loud. Making sure we can get w working water again. Right here, we're sharing a border with- come on, I want to take it. There we go. With the Dahlias, sort of like an old housing association from the looks of it. Uh, and with the two of us sharing a border is going to make us a little bit safer. Up here, we have the return of the Luddies. Uh, the pig farmers up here, and then over here we have the Church of the Chosen Ones, which I think we're gonna have problems with in the long run since they worship the zombies. <laughs> but our home here on the side of the big lake is doing good. Hello, welcome Tyrant King. Uh, we're doing a little bit of rebuild, which it's been a good little while since I played it on here. On YouTube, of course, it's been going up weekly, so... To the YouTube people, this has been pretty regular, but for me, it's been a bit. I'm just sort of looking and trying to, like, get my bearing on what we were doing, which I don't remember fully. Our people are not doing too happy. Holy shit. Hold on. Yeah, we got some people who are just flipping furious. Why? Why is that? Oh, we haven't researched survivor management, so we can't check why. Shoot. Yeah, I think before we left off last time, we had set all of our people on missions, so let's just hit next and let them come back from the- Oop, the hole! We've been relying on an old well for some time for our drinking water. Uh, it really- er, it really is old, like, circa 1910. But the water is surprisingly pure, much easier than collecting rainwater. The problem uh, is, a bu the bucket keeps getting stuck on something down there, and today it jammed up completely and won't come up, or won't come up or down. None of us can fit in there, but young Juan isn't has a, bleh, has a narrow enough shoulder that he should fit. Oh, mm. what do you what do you think in chat? Which let me make sure the chat box is yeah. Um. Hang on, let me move the chat box's position for this stream. There we go, the chat box should be appearing in the bottom corner now. Um. Send him in. Alright, let's send him in. Send Juan to crawl in. Uh, that little Juan uh, could have been uh, an excellent chimney soup in the 15th century England. He was secure- <clears throat> oh, He was just secure- <laughs> God, I can't read today. He was just secured on in there and uh, did the job. Turns out, the well was blocked up by a- um, uh, By a uh, Malen- By- Malane's boomerang? What's a Malane's boomerang? Well, let's give that to one of our soldiers, I suppose, because it's a weapon. Actually, let's give it to uh, Juan's mom. Tipped with razors. Ooh. That's pretty fucking nice. We'll give the knife to Peter. Alright. So we had a bunch of people come back. Um, let's clump all of our researchers together. We don't have any place for them to do their work currently. These are our scavengers and we have one diplomat. God, she is... A little uh, that her makeup is not looking good on her. <laughs> the ta top hat's not. I thought I gave her is not doing any hair. God, I can't use words. Say the top hat I gave her is not doing her any favors either. Um, what do we need to do here as the mission? Just fix the water. All you go do that, engineers. How do we want to expand our borders? So. If we go right- this farm might be one of the best ones to take, because we're already touching that double suburb, so it's not actually going to be- Actually, yeah, there's zero levels of growth in our uh, threat level if we build here. Our border will just get bigger. 
with no added threat, so it'll actually reduce threat amount. Uh, I determine threat by... I've probably said this in previous streams. I determine the threat by how many new map markers we are touching. So, like, this... We have three region areas touching it, but it's only one threat because it only the zombies can only build up in the one location, you know? So that bigger places on our border are nice for a while. Uh, you found an interesting new Old World Blue sub mod? Alright, uh, throw it at me in like a, uh... Or go ahead and talk about it in chat a little bit and I'll try and read it and you can throw it at me in the comments of a Old World Blues video and I might add it in between playthroughs. Later tonight, we might continue the, uh, uh, vault tech calling run that we've been doing. Um, we're neutral on food. Let's send our scavengers to grab some building supplies from over here. Um, and can you take care of this for me so I can step away? Not really, you can't. We'll work together, and I want to go and try and recruit whoever's over here as soon as I get the chance. Ooh, actually. I don't know if we have the space for that. We might need more housing soon. And I guess you can just go and scout somewhere for now. Yeah, see what's up back here. Since we don't have anywhere for you to work. A new Victoria expansion. I've never really looked too heavily at new Victoria, because I'm... I don't know how to do sea battle in Hearts of Iron very well. And I know New Victoria is like entirely focused on ocean stuff. Alright, let's go to the next day. Alright, now go scavenge. Screw it, scavenge up here a little. Get us a little bit of food on store. Nothing particularly happened. Alright, all of you take care of this. I'm gonna try and trade with our neighbors a little. All right, um, there she is. All right, that's what's up there. Now go take a peek up here. We've explored almost the whole map here. Old World Blues New Vegas sub mod version two. A map, man, I, I gotta lean forward to read that better. Sub mod version two, a man and his girls, and this is the old mod. I don't know what that one is. A man and his girls? I've, I've never heard of that one. I never used a lot of Old World Blue submods previously on my own playthroughs. So, uh, if that's like an old classic one, forgive me for not being familiar with it. Um, Where do we want to expand our border toward now? As soon as this is clean, we want to get that. This will only give us one new threat. I think these suburbs right here are going to be the way to go. Oh, and actually, I should go and trade with the actual merchants they're sending at us. <laughs> they're all working on fixing the water. There we go. It's taken hours of blood, sweat, and tears, but the treatment plant is fixed and <clears throat> and ready to start pumping gallons of fresh water to the parched throats of Nelson. Well, it's all already, aside from the horde of undead types who climbed out of the freshly cleaned sewer pipes and have been taken up residence in the building, we just need to clean them out and everything will be perfect. Uh, it's House getting his own submod. That expands his side of the New Vegas focus tree. Cool. Maybe I'll do that for a return to the uh, Mr. H to another Mr. House run in the future. Oh uh, man, I really want someone to make a house mod where you can make the courier take over. I know that he apparently exists as like a secret age or as a uh, a spy if you have that DLC, but sadly I don't own the Old World Blues DLCs. Uh, let's see if the Chosen Ones need anything in particular. They want food. Oh, well, we have plenty of food, so... Let's see how much it would cost if we got literally everything they had in exchange for food. Almost all of our food. Fuck it, here you go. Have all of our food stores. How could this go wrong? I mean, we are gaining food, so... 
Uh, yeah. We'll take everything you got. Hell yeah. Um, now I'll go trade with these ones. Let's send as little builder or I mean as little warriors out as we can to protect our surrounding troop or our surrounding regions. Make as few as we can get away with. And the rest of you go clean that shit out. Uh oh. Devout to what? Devout to what, Dorothy? Okay, just cr normal Christianity, not the crazy cultists. There's a mod for... for the, there's some mod for the cart. Yeah, I know that one, but like... I, I've looked at it, I think it's like super out of date is the problem, so I can't really use it. Like, the way I see it going is... Uh, it's uh, like part of you have him take control through yes man So like you go down the Benny route, but then the Benny route splits into the courier returning and killing him And you use yes man, and then you can like Through him declare war on all of the other factions and basically take the independent Vegas route or join Caesar or join uh, the NCR Like have him join the other factions kind of thing is the way I think it would work Um I wish, th I wish this game had a map editor. I would love to make, like, w interesting city maps of, like, my hometown or of, like, look like Boston from Fallout 4 and shit. Um, alright, scavengers. I want to focus our scavenging on, like, the edges of other people's territory. That way we can steal things that they would have been getting. God, what are all of our new guys gonna do? Because you can't really... Well, hold on. First off. Oh god, I didn't realize all that thread over there. Hold on. How many of you would it take to... Probably all of you. God, even... You know what? We'll worry about that in a moment. That would give us one new threat. That would give us one new... Well, we can't do any of those. That would give us too much. Let's go claim these suburbs over here. Yeah, it was last updated in June 7th, 2020. I thought so. Like, it predated, like, the entire overhaul, last overhaul of the Mojave. For those who don't know what I'm talking about, either, like, in, like, the YouTube upload of this or whatever, we're talking about the Hearts of Iron uh, mo Fallout mod that I play through a lot. Um. God, I don't know what I want to have. You know. Hey, can all of you go handle that? Nah. I guess all of you can just relax. Have downtime. Because I got nowhere for you to work. No jobs for you right now. So, next day. I ask if they need anything in particular. Offer a trade. They want ammo. They have food. Food is worthless to us. Goodbye. Uh, let me see if I can't handle that horde. Yeah, I'll stand guard against the horde. All of you go handle the probably one zombie there. Scavers. Oh, I just realized, hold on. Scouts, are, are you people? Go and scout out this area up here. There we go. Um, our scavengers can go and pick up this right here. So, God. Okay, yeah, they are all hunkered in this corner, the Luddites. Housing Association is here. The farm, okay. Everybody sort of, we actually might be the biggest power in the region right now. Alright, uh, next day. We're gonna convince them it's okay for us to keep the suburb. Because they're mad that we claimed it. And we're now able to, able to build a city hall. Nice, nice, nice. 
Um. Hold on. I'm... I was just clicking off the game for a moment, which would have muted the audio. Sorry about that. Okay. Can some yeah. Actually, would all of you we be able, all of we all of us be able to take care of that? No. Let's sacrifice one of them for now to go and make sure the threat doesn't build up there. You rejoin them. Scavers, go and get what's up here. You go and peek at the last area we haven't explored. Um. Hmm. Where do we want to expand our border? Or do we want to build our town hall right now? Fuck it, let's go build the town hall real fast. Alright, and... Next day. Yet, yeah, that horde comes in. We fight it off without too much trouble. Ooh. Cassandra came by to t today to talk about a construction project. They got plans to turn one of the Chosen One's farms into some sort of death trap for the Zed. I've never heard of plants being that effective against zombies, but our builders are able to help them out. Uh... Yeah, we'll send them one of our builders. The Chosen Ones were very happy with the help. Their fort should be stronger than ever now, yeah. Oh, we didn't even need to send them over, we just needed someone who was skilled enough. Am I able to... No, I'm not. Alright. Yeah, you all of you help me take out that shit. You guys go help with that for now. Uh, you go rest down here. Hmm. We don't need food. So, pick here, through here for the supplies. I did see that we had a wrench, so let's give that to one of our people. Uh, I guess not, huh? Because our only builders can't really make use of it. I think. Yeah, let's go to the next day. Zombie tech. I mean, we got a shovel. Uh, I think that would be good to give to a scaver. Yeah, because that gives more scavenging as well as defense. Alright, uh, let's start pulling aside our best defenders to stand at the town gates. Alright, all of you are going to have to help with that defense now. Scavers, meanwhile, are going to delve back out into the city. Any resources that are being bordered by people? Yeah, let's... Grab this before anyone can expand into it. What I really want to do is start recruiting people again soon. As soon as all these threats surrounding us are cleaned up. Um, let's just let our defenders handle it. Found a pickaxe. That again will be good for some of our scavers, I think. That actually might be a builder thing now that I think about it. Let's see. Yeah, never mind. That's for our builders. Which. You can use it. Um. Alright, scavers. Head up to. Scav this spot. Um. Alright, let's send some of these builders out and around. On first, all of you go back to resting for now. Uh, 
there. Ever heard of the Pokemon Infinite Fusion fan-made game? I have not heard of that. I know I've heard of Pokemon Uranium, which is still floating around out there, all be it hard to find. Oh, actually, some of you guys go back to helping them. I'm guessing it's like a Pokemon Fusion inspired fan game that like fuses Pokemon abilities together. Huzzah! We have running water again! And it doesn't smell like rotting corpses! Everyone's feeling great, and we're close to rebuilding society. And that we're one step closer to rebuilding society. Alright, let's start making our constitution. You know what? Uh, Tyrant King, why don't you vote on this constitution? What is our primary goal? Should we, uh, repopulate the world? Keep people safe or provide a religious moral center to the world or be or focus on trading and prospering Because usually I just pick the same handful of things, but this time since we've got a couple people in chat. I'll let you pick A Kanto and Johto Pokemon fusion game. That's kind of what I would have expected that to be. I used to do a bunch of Pokemon Fusion artwork for a while. But it felt like the streams didn't have high turnouts and neither did the videos, so I just sort of stopped after a while. But hey, if I got people asking me for it again on like uh, Tumblr or something, I might get back into it. Bring the babies. Repopulating the world it is. Uh, now... How do we choose our policies? Does the leader hold absolute control? Is it a Senate choice, or do all people vote on it, dem like, in a full democracy? So do we have a Senate of Representatives, a President, or full-on, like, everybody, everybody's word matters on every major subject? There are still tough decisions in Nelson, or in Nelson's future. Uh, and people's lives may depend on the outcomes. Ooh, hold on, we got a choice. Tyrant this time. All right. Um, how are resources distributed? All everybody shares everything. We give some some shared, some private, or people. Everybody owns their own stuff. Yeah. The question of private property is a sensitive issue in Nelson. Some people wish we'd just leave them, uh, uh, leave them and their stuff alone. They wonder why we need so many laws and regulations to enforce that or enforce what decent folk do naturally. Others think the government should collect and redistribute all goods, everything shared and distributed to those who need it the most. Some shared, some private. All right. Next is how do we assign luxuries? Our luxuries given out randomly to the most skilled people first. To the hardest workers first, or to soldiers first? How do you decide who gets the best apartment? Or who gets the luxury goods like tea and peanut butter cups? Some, uh, sometimes there's only so much to go around. And I know we're all, uh, we're all equal. But some of us are more equal than others. I believe that's a good 1984, a line right out of 1984. Um... If we don't give doctors better food and nicer houses, maybe nobody will want to be one. But if a doctor's kids grow up in a nicer house eating better food, they'll have more energy to study and become doctors themselves. Is that fair? Hardest workers first. Alright. And I believe... Oh, how do we handle criminals? Do we take away their luxuries, put them in jail, kick them out of the fort, or capital cannibal punishment? Please don't pick capital cannibal punishment. I know it's the ha ha funny one, but please don't. Uh, <laughs> uh, we need a policy for how we deal with criminals. I'm not talking like that jerk who borrowed my lighter and now insists he found it at an uh, 812 last month, even though we both know damn well he stole it from me. <clears throat> anyway, I don't uh, mean him. I mean the people who break the foundations of our ethical code. Murder, treason, unthinkable crimes. 
Oh no, cannibal society, I don't want- Oh, My people are cannibals. Uh, do we take care- So who do we focus on helping the most? Take care of our own, help out our allies, or help everyone who needs it. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog, uh, world, or I guess, uh, person-eat-person -person world out there, both literally and figuratively. We've got to draw the line somewhere between us and them. Ooh. Help anyone who needs it? Alright. Um, and what is our leader's name? Supreme Leader Griffin, Queen Griffin, Governor Griffin, or something else. I have I've been tending to pick something else and picking uh just Boss Griffin since that's my character's literal name. But what do you think our leader's name should be? Tyrant King <laughs> Xenomorph. We're a socialist dictatorship. Oh god! I feel like a socialist dictatorship is not a good thing. <laughs> something else? What do you, what do you suggest? Boss Griffin or should we go for a different name? Ugh. We're the capitalist- or, 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 I mean, the, the co we're the communist cannibals, that's what our faction is. Overseer? Tyrant Overseer? Oh no, okay. That doesn't look good on a resume. Huh. Well, that- that's great. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, um, let's get all of our soldiers clumped. Alright, let's send our scavengers out to get something from far away. Uh, let's grab this right here while we still can. Uh, let's scatter our fighters around a little. I know that we've got a nail board that we can give to someone. Does anybody not have a weapon? Here you go, buddy. You got a nail board now. Um. So our builder can only reclaim one of these two. So let's have him take this. Ooh, hold on. I didn't realize there's zombies right here as well. Kill those zombies. And next day. Ooh, a fire axe and an nail board. Let's distribute those to our soldiers. Fire axe. Oh, I just never axed out the last uh Actually no, let's give that to our scavengers to make them better at their jobs. Alright, no real threats, so all of you take a much-deserved day off. The Pokemon game has things leading up to Gen 6 and Fairy type, that's cool. Alright, um... What do I want to do? Oops. Yeah, I guess right now all we're gonna do is a little bit more scavenging. So let's grab what's sitting right there. Next day. Uh, well, apology- yeah, everybody's gonna start getting mad at us for forming a government without talking to them first. Oh no, the cultists are spreading. I don't like that. We gotta do something about that cult eventually. Hello, welcome back, Tyrant King. Um, this will give us two new thing or one new thing on our border. That'll give us two new. That'll give us three new. That'll give us two new. 
too new. Oops. Uh, let's go ahead and reclaim this gas station. Send our soldiers to kill everything up here, except the people, of course. And then scavengers can go and get some supplies from right here. Next day. There are three men at the gate asking for help. One of them is limping and holding a bloody rag to his neck, but he won't let us take a look at his wound. They want to patch him up with some of our medicine and stay the night. In exchange, they'll teach us a few things about construction. Uh, these are quite honest looking men, but I suspect one of the them, or the one with the wound has been bitten. Let's let them stay the night because that's always good. Uh, did I see about the, the Gen 6 thing? Yeah, how the, the Pokemon Fusion thing has Pokemon leading up to Gen 6. Man, you know, I've never liked playing the Pokemon games just because I'm not a big fan of JRPGs, but I do love the Pokemon world. Um, and from somebody who adores the Pokemon series from a storytelling perspective, the guy who was put in charge recently who took control starting with Sun and Moon has been dropping the ball so hard. I feel like X and Y was the last great Pokemon game, and Sun and Moon was the last good Pokemon game. And, like, Sword and Shield's story is just so ass, and there was such a lack of dungeons. Like, it was a disappointment in a lot of ways. A uh, guy woke up at night screaming, blah blah blah. He became a zombie, they taught us to build and left. We've gotten that event before. All right, let's um, two, two. let's reclaim this workshop. Um, Jesus, can we start pulling some of you off? Oops. You go handle that. Actually, you handle that. Can you go handle this on your own? No. What if I got you back up? There we go. So they're gonna handle all of that. A Gen 4 rem- yeah. I don't think it's gonna be very good. See, there's a thing that makes all of the Gen remakes good, is they're never just a remake. They always add a new layer to the story. You know, the Omega games brought Mega Evolution and a deeper backstory to the legendaries of the region. The, the Alpha Ruby and Sapphire thing. The Gen 1 remake, um, added, vi or, it, add, like, it expanded on a lot of the pre-existing stuff with the new technology. The Gen 2 remake was actually a sequel, not just a remake, taking place several years after the events of the original Gen 2 story. They all were an expansion more than just a remake, but this one looks like it's... I love Diamond and Pearl, don't get me wrong, but... Just Diamond and Pearl re-released won't be good enough. And it especially bothers me because if they were going to do anything, I would have loved it if it was like, oh yeah, here's all the content of Platinum added in. Like, they'd better have the fucking negative world. If they don't have the negative world, I'm going to be pissed. Uh, but like, I, I hope they add something to it to make it more than just here's Diamond and Pearl again. Like, but I'm afraid that's all that it's gonna be, is just here's Diamond and Pearl again. Um, next day. Oh, we found a bicycle and I didn't even realize. And a backpack. Let's give those to some of our scavengers. Backpack. Yeah, and the scavengers are always setting out far, so... Well, um, actually, no, let's give one of our fighters a... Bicycle. Here you go, boy. Um, you go handle that. Scavengers go up and scavenge over here for now. All right, we got a workshop now, so let's put all of our people to work in the workshop. Uh, building ammo, I guess. Because, like, is there... Yeah, let's just build a bunch of ammo. Um...
You go and start killing what's here so that we can reclaim that. As soon as the threat here is done, I might go and start recruiting some more people. Uh, you know that the later gen character clothes customizing is coming in? That's good. I know a lot of the people didn't like the, um, the art style when it was first announced. A lot of people also loved it. I think it's nice. I like the little cute toy aesthetic for when they're running around the overworld. I think it's a nice look. Um, what I'm hoping they do is sprinkle in a couple new dungeons and expand the negative world, or the mirror world, or whatever you want to call it. That's what my hope is for the new gen. Um, but I'm actually going to step away for a moment and get something to snack on, uh, something to drink, because we've been going for about 30 minutes, so that's a good breaking point for uh, the YouTube end of things. Um, if you've been enjoying this here on Twitch, stick around because we're going to be doing more soon and maybe follow so you can get notifications when I go live again. Uh, if you've been enjoying it on the YouTube end of things, be sure to drop a like and leave a comment of what you've been enjoying, uh, what you might like to see me do in the future, etc, etc. Uh, you, you all know how this stuff works. <laughs> You're competent. You've used social media. Um, I'm going to go and get some food, though, so I will see you all again in a moment. Ta-ta!